Hello guys, what's up? This is Indian Murao Khan, your instructor today. Welcome to Infinity Design. Today we are here with another tutorial. This is sketch received from one of our subscribers. And yes, today we will be uh, mod making a 3D model for this one. We already made this 3D model. This is how it looks like. And uh, yeah, uh, please follow the tutorial till the end. Okay, uh, and if you want the, these files, you can leave a uh, comment in the section below, and I will I can provide you the, provide you the CAD file for this one. I am using SolidWorks 2018, so I hope you like this tutorial, and uh, let's start. Okay, guys, so let's start with this motor design, simple motor design. You can use this motor uh, for putting it in your assembly. This is basically a DC motor. So we'll start our SOLIDWORKS as a new part file. We'll start with a sketch. Click on the top plane. Click the circle command. Use the origin as a reference. And then click on the smart dimensions. So we have this base about 28 millimeters. Okay, before going ahead, change the units to millimeters. Again, edit the sketch. 22 millimeters, 28 sorry, 28 millimeters. Okay, now we have this height of about 19 millimeters, so we'll extrude it by 19 millimeters. Okay, now we'll sketch on the top. Yes, and uh, we will design, we will sketch out these two holes and extrusions for the screws so this is about 35 from center to center so let's make a circle this is about seven millimeters okay on the center line it should be 35 divided by 2 right okay all good now we will join both of them okay We'll use the convert entities to use this periphery as a reference. Click OK. Now we use the trim command and make sure that you use power trim. Click on the power trim and you can drag your mouse and eliminate all the extra things, right? So this is how it's done. In the center, we have a 4 millimeter dia hole. So we add that also. Now we'll use a center line as a reference point. Okay, don't forget to convert into co convert this line into construction geometry because we don't want this to be used in the sketch or extrusion. Now we'll use this reference line to mirror this. Okay, so go to the mirror entities, drag drag your mouse button to select this sketch. Click on the mirror about. Click on this reference line. Click OK. Now go to features. Use the extrude boss command. Okay, you can change the direction of the extrusion by this. Give it a length of one millimeter. That's it. So we are done now. We'll save this file for reference. So for further use, now we go to sketch command. Click on the stop. Make it perpendicular. Now we have this part to be made. So this part is about at eight millimeters. So let's sketch a circle, uh, use the smart dimension, don't forget to use smart dimension for every, every dimension you use, okay. Uh, we'll give this 8 millimeters and this is about, this is about 9 millimeters and now we we'll use to extrude it about 1.5 millimeters this portion, okay, extrude about uh, 1.5 millimeters, that's it. Now again we will sketch on the top and uh, let's see what's next. Okay, when we see this shaft, the shaft is about 5 millimeters and then, okay, 5 millimeters in total. Okay, this is 10, this is 6. Okay, this is 1.5, so 6, 7.5, so this is 2.5 basically in the middle. Okay, 
so this is about uh, five millimeters okay so use the circle command okay when you drag your mouse here you can check a reference point and you can find the center of the circle and now with the help of the smart dimension give it a five millimeter dia okay so this is about like you can use a different method because we, we can extrude it all the way up and then we can extrude cut okay okay so we got the five millimeter and now what we will do is we know that this is about total is 10 10 minus 1.5 is about 8.5 so this is total 8.5 so let's extrude it like 8.5 and now what we do is okay for our convenience what we will do is we will go to edit feature we will not merge it with the current design because we want to change the color whole color of this feature so that's why we will not merge it with this design okay uh, we will now sketch on the top now we know that mm, there is a three millimeters offset here or just center here uh, die inside die at the middle this is a three millimeter so what we will do is we will take a center line and uh, yeah then go to offset command that's 1.5 on one side and make it bi-directional so you get offset on the both sides 1.5 millimeters 1.5 millimeters now we know that we got this offset we'll click on the convert entities to take the outer periphery as a reference now we will use the trim power trim command to trim the extra lines like this in a one go and now we will trim extra on the sides now we got these closed features uh, close sketches and we know that this is about at the height of six millimeters so now we go to the features extrude cut and give it a six millimeter dimension right okay this is all done almost uh, just save the file now we are left with this side uh, extrusion we got the reference dimension here that's about 17 millimeters so what we'll do is we click on the sketch command click here now here now we take our line make sure that this is horizontal line so you can click right uh, click on the line click on make it horizontal then we take the reference from here which is about 17 millimeters now this is about total 14.6 right so what we do is we take another center line reference make it construction geometry take an offset click use the bi-directional tool and click on 14.6 divided by 2 yeah this is 14.6 so it takes the offset and you can increase this now again we use the power trim command trim the extra lines okay this is a very useful tool now we again go to convert entities and take this outer periphery as a reference and then again we use the power trim tool to power to trim the excess okay this is how we do it now this is at a certain offset distance so we don't have that offset distance here so we can we can just um, assume that to be at least two millimeters let's take an offset here two millimeters Okay, we will not select a chain. Select this line and this line. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess one millimeter is, is, is looking fine. I guess this will be one millimeters. Okay. Now we click OK, and we use the power trim tool to trim the excess. Yep. Uh, now let's check the side thing. Okay. Uh, we also know about these side wings here. 
so yeah we will draw them okay and, uh, so we will click on the offset click on this line the one millimeter is good enough and then we take another offset of this one to be one millimeter and this one to be one millimeters we reverse the direction here from click by clicking this and now we use the extend entities sorry we need we need we need a we need to convert this periphery again for reference can okay, undo this we will remove this line and again convert the periphery so there is no doubling here now we use the extend entities because the line extends to another ex to uh, the limit of another line okay it's, it cannot be extended freely okay you must have another limit on the other side now we use the trim command to remove the extra okay we don't need this one we don't need this one yes we don't need this one we don't need this one and we don't need this one also uh, we don't need this one so this is how it's done almost it's almost done there now we'll extrude it till uh, the bottom i guess or just a little above the bottom check if we have the dimensions no we don't have the dimensions but we can assume it this, this is looking fine yeah one other thing one another thing we should not be um, emerging merging this feature with the other body because we want this as a separate feature okay when you when you don't merge them you get them as a separate entity files okay like this so you can use them separately now i will just save the file now we know that we we got something at the middle here so we will draw that okay we will again go to sketch command click here and click on convert entities we will click on the surface we we'll trim the excess the extra lines okay again click on the convert and click this one use the power trim again and now again extrude it till here and yeah okay we, we should merge this thing but merge with this one this entity okay that's how it becomes a part of this one okay now we save the file okay we are almost done right here now we will be using we will be making the front window here making the front window here which is about uh, from the top it's about 2.5 okay 2.5 from the yep so it's basically a rectangle okay a 6.5 into 1.5 okay so we will draw a rectangle 6.5 into 1.5 okay now to make it uh, at the center we will draw our center reference line we will convert that to construction geometry now we'll move this select the sketch put it here now use the dimension tool and give this dimension which is about 2.5 millimeters that's it now we got the sketch aligned now go to features extrude cut okay uh, we don't have to do that we have to extrude cut it till here oh that's all so this is how we do it. this is almost done now what we will be doing is we will have it some colors the gray the gray now we will add some colors We are going to add some colors now and yep we can give it blue so we have got these bodies here so when you click on this right click on this click on the body so the whole body that we already made sep separately will be colored you can use green colors you can use blue color 
and you can use any color okay that that's to you okay uh, yeah it's good it's looking good uh, we'll use gray, gray color for this one okay mm. and uh, for this one what we will be using is about it's also going to be a golden or copper color so click on the body advanced browse for appearance go to metal copper mm, polished copper uh, that's that's good yeah it's looking good yeah okay guys our 3d model is completed now now we will save it as a step file and uh, now we will try to render it using key shot so we will save it as a step file Save it as a step file and now we will open our key shot to render it okay yeah it will take takes a while okay now click on the import and uh, yeah this is a step file don't uh, mess with these uh, settings just keep them on the default settings so we got the file here now we got these three uh, feature, main features in this model so first we will unlink them unlink the material because we want every material to be different okay that's it now we'll give it some material okay so okay this is for the body all uh, right this one's look good now we use soft shiny blue one for this and yet for that should be something like golden or copper let's go to metals brass yes i can use brass this looks too much shiny okay i i don't need it i don't need it i need this a little bit rough you know no it's not looking good uh, aluminum brass and uh, nickel no the gold should be good No, it's not looking good. It's not even looking good. Okay. Uh, let's have another one. In metal, we should look for brass, basic brass, kind of uh, polished brass. Yeah, this this is kind of looking good. Okay, go to the environment, ground reflections. Okay, add them on reflections and uh, yep yeah. now we'll go to render okay and yeah, now click on the sharp texture filtering give it some shadows that's it click on the render yeah, and it will start rendering you can use different settings uh, for the render. You can even change the environment, but just just for the tutorial, we are just going for some of the basics. So yeah, it will it takes some time to render, so you have to wait for a while. Okay, guys. So the rendering is completed now. We will save this file. Okay to location we have and that's it i hope you people like the tutorial and yep if you have any questions you can leave comments in the section below yeah and we can work with this rendering we can make it even better uh, so it can all happen if you have any questions please leave in the comment section below peace out